midnight each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. Twenty minutes past ten. Keep up, Doctor. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. I was at home. David as my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this date over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. The lorry just naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? David Hunt. I can change my skin. Then skins. Dr. Decker dated his patients. I had a hot date. We went out for drinks. I took photos of Jessica. Dr. Decker did phone on Valentine's Day. Ask me for Nathan's number. There was a girl there. Am I wrong to keep the locket? I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? He was preoccupied with finding photographs, patterns, rocking chair. I haven't been back to the beach since. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident. Where I find something. I set fire. Beautiful. In the sea. To Hannah's clothes in the garden. I dug the grave. I wish I'd said goodbye. Doctor Decker, curse me. It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Don, I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're playing. We're playing high price psychiatrist he's dead we're in spay and neuter your pets and we need to find out why your pets aren't spayed sprayed spayed sprayed spayed spayed so you don't want them to have babies ace of spades yes ace of base ace of killing uh, pet babies yes baby taking out organs <laughs> we can keep going yeah, and just make this the whole video yeah, if you want I'm exactly. fine with that. jaya is uh we're getting, <laughs> we're getting down with with my girl j dog all right, we got a lot more Jaya to go. Uh, last episode, we talked about some stuff. This is a new session for us, so forgive us if we sound like we don't look like we don't sound like we don't know what we look about. Yeah, we don't look like we sound about, so it's fine. <laughs> exactly. All right, uh, so she wanted to know how you should approach a person who thinks they have powers. I think we should encourage them or be passive. <sighs> We're going to have to do Being all passive them. got that guy killed. Encouraging them leads them down a path of like come on dude you're power of taking pictures of naked ladies in the yeah an hour yeah like we're assuming that these powers are real and then removing their powers i feel like is probably the best for them okay. and humanity even though the the guy taking pictures of the frozen naked lady was wrong yeah part of me was like you, then show me no well listen listen hey, i'm listening like, show me the photos because if you can if you can well no 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 because listen <laughs> If you can maneuver her around, <laughs> if if she's literally frozen and you can maneuver her however you want, like, uh, then that means your powers are real. That's like you're getting proof that way. Yeah, but if I mean, I'm I'm operating on the assumptions that we live in a real world here, even though a lot of these people are like, we we don't live in a real world. Yeah. So a real life psychiatrist is not going to be like, oh yeah, dude, just show me the pictures then. And that'll show proof though. I mean, I don't want to. You just want to see naked girls, you horn dog. He can, he can edit out the boobs. I just want to. <laughs> I'm like, just for the. You got to see if he's talking realness. His I mean, hour. yes, but a real psychiatrist, which we are, we're accredited officials in psychiatry and, and we, detective. He'll say and detectives. Yeah. Uh, All right. Let's well, just whatever, man. Any of it. All right, um, I'm going to ask her some more stuff on Ben. I still say remove the powers is probably the ideal thing is because you want to take that psychosis away. Right, 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 right. You that don't want to encourage the psychosis. You don't want to say, yeah, be psychotic, whatever. You want to be like, look, dude, we need to stop. We need to come back to reality. Let's ask her about Ben. I think that's all settled now. We are agreeing to pay Ben £5,000, and he's agreeing not to say anything about what he saw. That's it? 5 k Oh, sweet. What did Ben see? He saw Dr. Decker dead. He thought he saw a creature coming out of Dr. Decker's mouth. But at least that's the reason he's given for not emptying the bins that night. Either way, it's not the kind of publicity that we need. Shiny, happy, sane people. Oh, so there was like a creature. <sighs> It, like, are we gonna just should we just become Professor X then? 
You yeah, think I we mean, should just be Professor X and just encourage these people's powers and like Yeah, Derek Zoolander's school for kids who don't read well. That too. We could do that too. Yeah. Alright, let's go let's get about the paper spec. Then we'll get into her grief about losing the doctor. All right. It's in that police report that I gave to you. Yeah, really. You should really take a look at it. I did. That's your that's yeah, your she, yeah, she's like I thought you would have done that by now. What a loser. Shall we talk about grief today? Grief is such a strange word if you keep saying it. Grief, grief, grief. grief. It sounds like somebody's being whipped. Does it? And you're going to ask me how I feel today. All right, Jonas, I'm willing to go along with you and become Professor Xavier and say in court, encourage their powers. Yeah, might as well. Let's roll. To deepen their affliction? I wouldn't. Neither would I. Why couldn't Mariana concentrate in the office? Why does grief sound like being whipped? And what do you know about Dr. Decker's mother? What, why does... <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> did you talk to Nathan much? I want to know more about the Nathan thing because she did say that Dr. Decker was trying to get a hold of Nathan. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Nathan might even be the key, the fact that he can relive days and he can notice different things about each day that the doctor died. He might be one yeah, of the maybe he, more... Yeah, maybe he lived that day numerous times. Uh, yeah, numerous times. Very, very, very He put possible. a rat in his throat. Did you did you talk to Nathan much? I didn't really speak to Nathan that much at all. But I have this strange feeling that I know him really well. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, it's because you've lived the same day with him a bunch of times. But to you, it's not like a day. Yeah. You just absorb the knowledge. It's like when you're Naruto training with all your shadow clones. Exactly like that. <laughs> what, what do you know about Dr. Decker? His mom. mom. Dr. Decker did send me to see his mother once. She was dying in a nursing home and he didn't want to see her. So he sent you? I remember him calling her a manipulative, evil old hag. He tend not to ask any more questions after that. But why did he send you to go see her? Sounds like Dr. Decker needs a psychiatrist. Right? Deal with his mommy issues. Uh, why couldn't Mariana concentrate in the office? Honestly, I think Dr. Decker had a bit of a crush on Mariana. Or vice versa i'm not really sure there's some footage from their home sessions if you want to see them uh, yes oh yeah immediately okay well, yeah dude yeah. do we get to watch it right now i want to see what dr decker looked like that's a good point too we have not seen his face that was a joke doctor i guess we found our level <laughs> she was pulling our leg she was cool She's yanking the O chain. All right, what does grief sound like being whipped, Mariana? Oops. I mean, Joanna. That was a yeah. strange thing to say, wasn't it? Whipped. Am I all whips and chains in the bedroom or dominant in the boardroom? Don't answer that. It's not a question. It's early days for a harassment suit yet. What with Ben's nervous shock already. What? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Cool whip. A cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> She's like, am I chains in the bedroom or in the dominant in the boardroom? Don't answer that. I'm just rambling. Perhaps you should ask someone else a question. All right. All right who's left? All right. So I think we should go with Nathan next, honestly. Yeah. Nathan seems like he could be a linchpin here when it comes to uh, figuring out the case here. And he's honestly the most sane of the bunch. Okay. Is he? Yeah. All right. Well, let's ask him how he's doing. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of mess with Nathan. I f with Nathan. How, how are you, Nathan? The burned and his rocking chair. The day moved forward. It was a good choice. I'm not sure I've got much left of hers now. I've burned most of it or given it away just to make the days move forward. There was a moment when I was attacking a Salvation Army bin. But I gave in. Oh. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, I did say he was the most normal, but you, you know, it's obviously, you know, I mean, subject to opinion. With, what happened with the Salvation Army, Ben? I yeah, guess. let's find out. I accidentally put Hannah's diary into a Salvation Army donation bin. They're like huge post boxes with a circular tray that makes sure things spill to the bottom. I tried to get in to get it back, but I gave up. Dang. How did you accidentally put her diary in a? Goodwill, Ben. Uh, did you read the diary first? 
Do you know about the paper spike? Uh, yeah, let's just find out more about the diary. I read the last few weeks of Hannah's diary a while ago. I must have accidentally dropped in some clothes for the Salvation Army bin. It's funny, because I wasn't going to read it. She said she'd fallen out of love with me. That she was going to break off the engagement. That she didn't love me anymore. Yeah. I regret it. Then why are you still pining over her, dude? Obviously, you knew she didn't love you. Yeah. Wow. It's no wonder he's going through some hard times. Now, like, I understand, like, this look right here for Nathan, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting down, head back. He's like, like, wow, the one girl that I loved killed herself and didn't love me. All right, what do you she regret? She kill herself, though, right? I regret it that I mourned for Hannah so long. I regret the grief. I regret all the days I slept through because of it. Had I known she didn't love me anymore, things would have been different. I, I'm a bit angry now. If I had that day over again, I'd, I may just still pull out in front of the driver. Wow. 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 All right. I mean, that's fair, though. Um, let's talk more about your, 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 your girl. Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? Um, thanks for the dating advice, by the way. Okay. All yeah, right. we told him to get out there and get his fingers wet. Yeah. Hey, hey did you get out there and get your noodle? I signed disc? up for a dating website. It's a bit easy, to be honest. If I message something they don't like, I change it when the day replays. It's not very honest. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Why isn't he it He gets honest? to redo. If I'm being to... honest, I'd probably rather ask out one of the patients I've seen here. Oh. The friendly redhead with the accent. Oh, he's got a crush on Mariana, I, too. I love how he said with the accent as if all of these people don't have accents. Does Mariana even have an accent? She has, like, an American accent. Oh, that's true. Maybe because she... <laughs> That's what he meant. <laughs> that's what he meant. Yeah. Because we have an accent to them. That makes sense. All right. Uh, let's find out about the paper spike. You know anything about that? I didn't notice Dr. Decker had a paper spike. I haven't really seen more than a foot in front of me since Hannah died. That's dangerous. That is dangerous. What else can you tell me about Deck? I've told you all I know about Dr. Solid Decker. eight. He started bro. out good, then turned a bit crazy towards the end. When you start giving people more problems as a therapist, that's a bit crazy. Everybody's very uh, critical about Dr. Decker's <laughs> style. Right? Yeah, everybody like really wanted him to die it seems <laughs> i don't know about it. all right uh what problem did dr decker give you or why was dr Let's decker ask about problems man i started out with depression now i seem to repeat days even if you don't believe the repeat days then i clearly have extra mental health problems that he's given me no, well, we all get extra mental health. Problems. Yeah, from somebody else. All right, and we'll find out why Dr. Decker was crazy on the next one, because that's all that's on me every day's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you already did that. There's a notification bell. It goes ding. Jonas. TNT. Uh, we uh, are uh, out. Uh...